why would that? Because they do good work. You aware that the committee is interested in the political career of Mr. Uh, Wick? So? trying to say that you just got an urge and to contribute to his committee before you met with him, and then you just got another urge right after? Yeah, I came in with some extra money a couple days later. All right. You made these contributions anonymously. Why? I wanted them to be anonymous. Okay. Tell us why. I didn't want a lot of other people coming around asking for contributions. The reason you made these contributions anonymously is that you were paying off. Prove it. to believe the strike force was investigating Mr. Gallagher. I confirmed it a little strong. How did you confirm it? Objection? You were asking Wait her... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to answer this. I read the file. Did you now? How did you come to read the file? I was talking with Mr. Rosen and lying on his desk when he left his office. I read it. Ask Mr. Rosen what in the name of Christ he was doing leaving the file around on his desk for you to read it? He intended me to read it. Why would that be, Miss Carter? So that I would write a story that made Mr. Gallagher look bad. This story. Mr. Rosen give you that one, too? No. Go ahead, Miss Carter. Sorry, I can't tell you. I think I know where we're headed here. Before we get there, I want to say something to you. And you know and I know that we can't tell you what to print or what not to print. We hope you people in the press will act responsibly, but when you don't, there ain't a hell of a lot anybody can do about it. But we can't have people go around leaking stuff for their own reasons. It ain't legal. Worse than that, by God, it ain't right. I can't stop you. I can damn well stop him. Now, I want to know where them stories come from. Under the First Amendment, my client is not required to reveal her sources you of information. You know that's almost budget, Counselor. The First Amendment don't say that, and the privilege don't exist. Now, Miss Carter, do you understand I can ask you these questions in front of a grand jury? Yes. And if you don't answer, you can go to jail? I know it's possible, yes. Oh, it's more than possible, Miss Carter. It's damned likely. Well, I ain't anxious to be locking up reporters, but I'm going to tell you something, young lady. I don't like what's going on around here. May I say something, please? Yes. I don't want to go to jail. But this has got to stop someplace. A lot of damage has been done. I'm responsible for a lot of it. I know that. There must be some rules to tell me what I'm supposed to do now. But uh, maybe not. 
person who told me about the investigation of Mr. Quinn. They were not leaking it. They did not intend for it to be printed. I did that on my own. I'm, I'm scared to death of going to jail. But if I tell you who it was, then you'll have to do something about it, and then someone else will be hurt. So it's really very simple. I can hurt someone or not hurt someone. No rules. Just me. I can't tell you. get too smart. Pretty smart myself. Everybody in the room is smart. Everybody's just doing their job. Teresa Perone's dead. Who do I see about that? Ain't nobody to see. I wish it was. Now, sir. Miss Carter, you can go too. Later today, I'll have a statement for the media. You don't even like it. I was going to say, Mr. Quinn here may not be the smartest DA we've ever had around, but there's no evidence suspecting him of anything. And it's going to say you were suckered by Mr. Rosen here, who has some peculiar ideas on how to do his job. It's going to say it was premature, real wrong, that these investigations ever got reported in the first place. You don't have to print it, of course, but it's going to wind up in paper. And clean. You and Elvie can go on ahead. Robert, you can go too. I'll be along in a minute. blue clearing you, but wouldn't nobody believe me. You got a health publicity problem. So? Who? You can't win. Absent malice, what can you prove? Say I should resign. The president appointed you. I ain't the one to be kicking you out. But I'm suggesting What'd you figure you'd do after government service? I'm not quitting. There ain't no presidential appointee, Elliot. The one that hired you was me. You had 30 days. 